And there we have it. A plastic ready to get smashed. Just hooked up. Oh my god, it's a monster brim. Got to bring. I've only got four pound on, guys. G'day, guys. Welcome to another episode. It's a bit windy today, but we're down at the Maribyrnong River, flicking small 2.5-inch grub plastics around. With all the restrictions that's going on, you can only fish at your local um, water system. So in this case, the Maribyrnong River is my local fishing destination. So we're here today, and we're going to see if we can whack a brim. So we've got our hurricane sub grubs in the motor oil they're just a bit less than 2.5 inches so they're perfect size super strong so what we do is we get our jig head and we line it up so it goes near the tail and it's got a little joining line on top of the grub too so what i like to do is put it in the center of the plastic i run along that line and then come out near the section where it's supposed to go. So once it's out, push it. It's got a pin there. Push it up, and there we have it. Our plastic ready to get smashed. So what I like to do, guys, is get your grub, get a bit of scent, and just put it all over that plastic. This helps when the brim are a bit fussy too because most of the time, if they do decide to get it, they'll just have a little, um, well, go next to it and they can sense that smell. So with a bit of smell to it, it seems a little bit more natural than just a piece of plastic on a jig head. So once that's on, it's ready to go in the water and smack a brim. So we'll just flick this around. I've actually got four pound fluorocarbon leader. So when it comes to soft plastic fishing, especially in this river here, the brim are very fussy. So you gotta go as light as possible and obviously make it as natural too. So what I like to do is flick it out a few meters from the bank, let it sit on the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, slow wind, stop and do a few twitches off the bottom let it sink again, and then obviously when it comes close to the bank, twitch it with a slow retrieve, and hopefully that fish or brim that's feeding will absolutely smack that grub. So we've had a bit of rainfall, so there's a fair bit of water flow, which is really good for brim. All right, guys, since the water's quite high, we're just gonna try in here. Some nice structure there. So we'll just drop that grub down there and just work it along that structure. There's a few pylons down here, so we'll just work along this bank and hopefully we'll pull out a fish or two. Just hooked up. Oh my God, it's a monster brim. Got to bring, I've only got four pound on, guys. He got it as soon as, oh. God, got to unclip this. I right, unclipped it. Oh my God. And it's a thumping brim. This is a good fish. Oh, this is a nice fish, guys. Oh, look at that fish. Yes, we got him. Yes, look at that fish. That's a ripper. He just smashed that plastic. Oh my God. That is a monster fish. Look at that. He just smashed that grub. Oh my God. That is a good fish. 
awesome. Oh, look at that. That is a good brim. Four pound fluorocarbon leader. Just smashed that hurricane grub in motor oil. Look at that. Absolutely stoked with that fish. That is a monster brim. That's over 40 there. I'll give him a measure too. And yeah, what a cracker of a fish. Can't complain. Quickly. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, let's give him a measure. Just put him back in the water so he gets a bit of more oxygen in. That is a thumping fish guys. Wow, 42 centimeter fish. That is a good fish. Very happy with that. Oh, that is an awesome fish guys. Stoked. 42 centimeters on the fork. Awesome. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be great. That's a magnificent fish. Yeah, plastic too, so I can't complain. It's a monster, yeah. Got it like right on top of the water too. Fantastic. Thanks for that. All right, guys, I'm absolutely stoked with that fish. 42 centimeters to the fork. Oh, that is so awesome. And getting it on a soft plastic, four pound liter, solo, going down this cliff with all this structure around, that is just spectacular. So what I'm gonna do is go on this rock here. There we go. And I'll rest it in the water there. Oh, that is a good fish. Sit her in there a bit, get oxygen in her gills. She'll go when she wants to go. Oh, beautiful. That is awesome, guys. Oh, let's flick another plastic out there. Let's see if we can't get another one. All right, guys, when it comes to fishing structure, Obviously the fish are there, but you gotta sacrifice some gear. So we're gonna change things up. Look how awesome this UV packaging. So we've got the Hurricane rib, rigged crabs. So we'll just whack that on. It's got two little hooks on the claws. See if we can't get a broom. Oh, perfect. Literally right on that. It even splashed the pole. Oh. Getting a little windy now. Might head off shortly. Nice little session anyway. I'm super stoked with that, even that one fish. Over 40 centimeters on a plastic, solo four pound fluorocarbon leader. Can't get any better than that, so. Can't complain, I guess. All right, guys, that concludes the session for today. Probably did about an hour and a half, 
worth of fishing. So it's pretty good that I landed that nice 42 centimeter brim on four pound fluorocarbon leader on a small two inch grub, the sub grub from Hurricane Lewis. So super stoked with that fish. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.